What's the first thing that you do when you hurt yourself? The most common thing you do is if you hurt your elbow, you grab it, you rub it. It feels good to rub. It helps heal the area, relax the muscles. So you rub yourself when you hurt, but you don't do it as a warm up. And so building upon the, sh the shaking exercise, patting and rubbing is the next best thing that you can do to stimulate the muscle circulation and to warm up the body. Now this seems kind of easy, right? But let's take it a step further. While we're rubbing, we also want to focus on our breathing. The difference between an amateur and a professional athlete is the coordination of breathing with their motion. This is obvious with swimming. When you swim, obviously you've got to breathe with your arm motion. The same thing happens when you're running. You have to coordinate your breath while you run, otherwise it's just weird and awkward. It also works with martial arts or boxing. Every time you punch, there's an exhale that matches the movement. The more that you coordinate your breathing with the movement, the better and more effective you are at moving. This seems natural, but it's not. Oftentimes with injuries, with high stress, our breathing and our coordination becomes messed up. So while we're rubbing today, we're also going to be focusing on coordinating our breathing with our movement. So very simply, while you're moving, you're breathing either in or out. And when you stop moving, you should be either completely done with an exhale or done with the inhale. Now this seems simple, and it is simple, but it's also a little bit awkward. So first focus on just learning the movement and then focus on the breathing. So what is the movement? All right, the movement is this. We're going to rub, we're going to pat, or we're just gonna trace our body. So we'll start down here, and you rub your hands up the front of your body, and reach up, and then down the back. The front of your body is where you get your nutrition, your mouth, your umbilical cord. It's soft, it's tender, it's what we call the nourishing part of our body. If we had to co correlate our body, this would be the earth part of our body. So things from the earth grow up from the ground, and the energy of our body is, is, what's, is coming up. Things from the heaven, the rain, the sunshine, all comes down. The back of our body is where we get sunburned, it's where we have the hair, it's where it takes most of the sunlight, and that's coming down. So if that's an easier way to think about it, it's up the front, down the back. Up the soft, non-hairy side, down the hairy side. If it's hard to reach up over your head, we can just start simply with this. Bending forward, rotating the shoulders, bending back. Bending forward, bending back. If that is easy, you can also add more hand motion. Stretching back, <clears throat> curling in. Great, if that's easy, you can add the tracing. Up the body, cross the arms, reaching up, do a nice cute little circle, come down the back, tracing the ribs. Good. If that's easy, the better thing to do is to add a little massaging motion, same sort of thing, just kind of massage the elbows. You'll find tender spots in your body or we do padding. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you the padding motion now. Again, coordinating breath with motion. So let's start with just the padding. I'll walk you through it. So begin padding the inside of your ankles. Trace up your shin bone to your knees, inner thigh, inguinal groove, stomach, ribs, shoulder, elbow, wrist, fingertips, rotate it over. Back of the hand, fingertips, wrist, elbows, shoulders, chest, shoulders, elbows, wrist, rotate back up. So while we're doing this, we're stimulating our muscles. We're also stimulating our bones. Down the back. It should feel good, it should feel relaxing. You might notice areas of tenderness, you might notice areas of tension, we're just gonna massage them out. Now let's do the breathing. So you're gonna start exhaled and you breathe in. Into your abdomen, into your chest, exhale. 
Exhale, stop, switch, breathe in. Exhale out. Breathe in. Expand the ribs around the back, down. Again, so as you breathe in, towards the chest, you breathe in, and away from the chest, you breathe out. All right, let's do that a couple more times. Breathe in, abdomen, chest, exhale. Rotate over, breathe in. One more time. Tension in the back, really kind of massage that out. And down to the feet. At this point, you should feel the vibration. You should feel relaxed. You begin to start to feel really warm, and your hands and feet start to feel really warm from the vibration. Focusing on coordinating your breath, you're stabilizing your back. If you ever slip and fall, what's the first thing you do? You take a breath in, because that breath in uh, activates your obliques and your abdominal muscles, which support your back. If you don't have that reflex, or if you're constantly holding your chest in, when you slip, you're going to pull your back out. So as you breathe in, feel the abdomen fill up, feel the chest fill up, and as you exhale, feel it relax. So we've warmed up our whole body with the shaking and with the padding, but we haven't warmed up our face. So let's talk about how do we warm up the face. So first we just massage it. If you have your hands down by your side, your thumbs correlate to the front of your face, the middle fingers coordinate to the side of your face, and the pinkies coordinate to the back of your head. It works with a lot of acupuncture points. So when we massage, the first thing we do is we just want to use our palms, warm them up, and just massage the front of our face gently. You'll feel the tension in your jaws, the tension in your forehead, and you just want to massage that out. Then you take the side fingers, put them on the side of your ear, and begin to massage this way, up and down. Lastly, you're going to take your pinkies and you're going to put it on the base of your occiput. Put your hands together using your thumbs at the big bone right here and massage it back and forth. Now at the start of our video series, we did shaking. and shaking, we focused on long exhales. We focused on sighing breath. Then we worked on padding. and padding, we worked on coordinating our breath with our motion. As you moved, you breathed. When you stopped, you stopped. With this massage, we're actually going to do a breath hold. We're going to hold our breath. And what happens when you hold your breath is that the gases in your body build up. CO2, specifically, starts to grow in the body. This is what happens also when you exercise. Your muscles produce more CO2, and your body then increases ventilation to get rid of that CO2. When we hold our breath, we can't release CO2 and it grows in our body. Our body actually doesn't regulate oxygen so much. So when you hold your breath and you feel like you need to breathe, it's not that you're low on oxygen, it's actually that you're high on CO2 and your body is trying to exhale CO2. So what we want to do is we want to take a deep breath in, filling our abdomen and our lungs, and hold our breath while we massage our face. The CO2 will begin to build up in our body and we'll start to feel a gasping or a contraction. Try to go to three contractions and then exhale through your nose, humming if you can. <clears throat> then breathe in and do recovery breaths while you pat the body. That's the first round. The second round, again, we'll breathe in and hold our breaths, but this time we'll more specifically rub our face. We're going to take our uh, big pad of our thumbs, we're going to put them on the side of our nose and massage. Then we'll take our index finger, we'll put it above and below our mouth, and we'll massage this way. 
These two things will then uh, stimulate the front of our face. Then we're going to pull our ears down, out, and up. Down, out, and up. And then we're going to take our palms and point our thumbs down, grab our ears, and massage from the base of our ears to the top of our ears. Lastly, we'll massage through our head and again rub the back of our necks. If you have allergies, sinus congestion in the morning, wake up stuffy, massaging the face, massaging the nose, is, is, you'll start draining mucus. If you have blocked ears, you station tubes, you start to pull on the ears, you're going to get a lot of lymphatic drainage. It's great for ear tinnitus ringing. If you have uh, migraines, tension headaches, massaging the back of the neck will release, release those muscles that are pinching the nerves that radiate it to the front of the face. So the face, we gotta relax the face while we also warm up the body. So what's important is going your own speed. I'm gonna go my speed, but you go your own speed. So if you can't hold your breath that long, that's fine. Um, if you can hold your breath longer, that's fine. Again, I'm showing you what works for me, but you also have to listen to your body and do what works for you. So, I'm gonna try to hold my breath and talk at the same time. We'll see how that goes. So, exhale out, breathe in. Hold. Wash the front of your face. Spock fingers on the side of your ears. Cross your fingers back of your neck. Exhale through the nose. Recovery breath. Breathe in again. This time, thumb, side of the nose. Index finger above and below the lip. Pulling the ears down, out, and up. Down, out, and up. Massage your ears. Should be getting hard. Massage your head. Rub your neck. Exhale. <laughs> Using that breath and that vibration to really open up your face. So this is the padding and rubbing exercises. <laughs>